YouTube Visual Gaming Network and welcome to episode 2 of our Jetpack Joyride Game in Java tutorial. Last episode, I gave you guys an intro to the series we created, our project, our class and our package. This episode, we're going to be creating our resolution for the window for our game. So before we write any code in this episode, I want to explain uh, the two sort of lines of code you can make uh, in Java. So first is a statement and uh, the second is a body and a statement looks like this line of code here at the very top of our class and uh, these three lines of code here so I'll try to explain this as best as possible uh, if you don't get it I do apologize but anyway so what a body is it's pretty much a little area in we can uh, write code in and the sort of uh, code we'll be writing in those bodies as statements so as you can see, our public class uh, game sort of thing is a body. And uh, to declare if something has a body, all you have to do is put these curly brackets. Let me just give you a quick explanation, demonstration, sorry, of what a body looks like. So uh, you don't have to write this. I'm just making, I'm just making something called a public void. It's going to be called test. Uh, I don't really need to explain it at the moment. But uh, if we put a semicolon on the end, then uh, this declares the line as a statement. We always end statements with a semicolon. But, of course, this doesn't work because when we're making something called public voids, it's uh, a method and methods have bodies. So to give it a body, we just give it like this little curly bracket thing. Press enter and, uh, well, Eclipse should uh, make the other curly bracket for you. And in this body is where we will write our statements. So let's just say these are statements. All our statements we write are going to be in bodies. I should actually call them methods because that's what they are. Let me just delete this. So you know how I said our, uh, we write statements in bodies. We actually write statements in methods. I accidentally uh, called a body a method. These two little curly brackets are our body and that declines the area in which the method exists in. So hopefully you guys uh, understand that. If not, I'm sorry, these things aren't very easy to explain, you know. So if you're not quite getting it, then uh, if you do a Google search, then uh, they should give you a more in-depth explanation. So now we're going to be writing our line of code. Uh, the line of code that we're going to be writing is a statement. And uh, I'm just going to write it, then I'll explain it to you guys. So just follow me. We're going to type public space static space integer. And uh, we're going to call it width equals to 1280. And because it's a statement, we have to put a semicolon on the end. So now let me explain this. We're pretty much creating a public static integer. And uh, the name of that public static integer is width. And the value, we set it to 1280. So when we use this equal sign, then we're setting the values of variables. And uh, by the way, this is a variable. There are different types of va variables that can hold different types of values. Uh, one of the variables are an integer that we just created that holds an integer or a whole number. There's a variable called a string and uh, its value would always be a string of characters or letters. And uh, there's also a Boolean and, uh, and, it can, and it can only exist in two states, which is uh, true or false. Uh, there's like doubles, which are pretty much like ints, but we can use decimals, but we can't use decimals in integers because integers are whole numbers. And doubles pretty much let us use decimals. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much what variables are. There are different types of objects that stores different types of values depending on what type of variable it is. So I hope you guys understand that. So yeah, if we remove this, then Hopefully you guys understand this. We're creating an integer. Its name is width and we're setting it equal to 1280. But if I add in the public static thing again, 
uh, now I'm going to explain what public means. So in the future, we're going to be having uh, lots and lots of classes in our game, not just our game class, like our maybe our handler class, our keyboard input class, our player class, our like sort of enemy class, or well, not really enemy, more like missile or laser class. Yeah, things like that. If we make our integer public, then every class in our project can access that variable. So yeah, uh, by making this integer public, we are letting all the other classes we can create access this integer. But let's say if we actually made our integer private, then it means the variable is only exclusive to this class and the only class that can access it is the class in which is in which it is declared in. So no other class in our project will be able to access it. But we want other classes to access it eventually, so we'll just type public. So now, so hopefully you understand what public means. Now I'm going to explain what static means. Static pretty much allows us to access this variable in a static way. If we don't make this variable static, then uh, we can only access this variable in a non-static way and we can't access it in a static way. But if we make it static, then we can access this variable in both a static way and a non-static way. And if you're wondering what the hell does accessing a variable in a static way mean, then uh, let me show you an example of accessing this variable in a non-static way. So accessing variables in a non-static way is... Uh, Let's say I'm going to actually create an object of game here. Uh, you don't have to type this, this is just an example. And uh, accessing width in a non-static way, we're going to, we will just type game.width. So the game object we just created called game, we can get our width using that game object we just created. But if we access width in a static way, then it doesn't mean creating an object for game and then accessing it using the game object. We could just type game.width and that's accessing the variable in a static way. So hopefully you understand that. As I said, it's not the easiest thing to explain, especially when you're trying to teach complete beginners, which in this case is what this series is for, and like explaining the basic stuff. Like the most basic things in Java are always the hardest to explain, I'm serious. Like the most simple things you type in Java, they're always the hardest to explain. And if you find yourself teaching, then uh, you should find that a lot in life as well. Like not just with coding, like, but with other subjects like maths, history, things like that. So yeah, anyway, now we're going to make another public static integer. So let me just give you a recap. We're creating a public integer, which, which can be accessed in a static or a non-static way. We're giving it the name width and we're setting it equal to 1280. So we're creating a public static integer called width, setting it equal to 12, 1280. Now we're gonna create another public static integer. But in this case, we're gonna call it height. And this will be the height of our window eventually. And we're gonna set that equal to 720. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Uh, I know that we didn't type that much code this episode, but we will be typing a bit more code next episode. Uh, of course, this video is probably already quite long because of how in-depth I went into everything. And, uh, you know, that's pretty important. Well, consider this. What would you rather do? Would you type uh, lots of code in an episode and barely know what any of it means? Or type a little bit of code by knowing exactly what it means and not being confused at all, like typing lots of code but not really learning anything, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. If someone you know is interested in learning how to program in Java, please send them this tutorial, I would highly appreciate it. If you have a Twitter account, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.